an autograph letter signed by Evelyn Waugh to his French translator, Jean Devin. I'm Adam Douglas from Pete Harrington, and I'd like to show you this very amusing letter written by Waugh to the translator of his early book, Vile Bodies. The letter is dated Christmas Day, 1946, and uh, Waugh is uh, about to publish uh, Brighthead Revisited in France, and as a result, there's renewed interest in his early work, and so they're going to translate Vile Bodies, which has actually already been done. And uh, Monsieur Dauvin has written to him asking for some explanation of what Evelyn Waugh says, um, that his translation will brew, breathe new life into a text which has become somewhat dated in the original. I mean, that is understatement, of course, because the book is the epitome of the uh, bright young things with their slang. And there is very little hope of Monsieur Dauvin being able to correctly translate it, which he makes immediately obvious by saying, with regard to your questions, a chub fuddler was chosen as a comic trade. Any French equivalent would serve. Uh, there is no possibility of there being a French equivalent, but uh, he then explains that he is in fact the man who makes it his life's work to intoxicate fish so that when it's necessary to drain a fish pond, they can be moved without injury to another piece of water. Needless to say, chub fuddlers are very rarely met. So they're full of the kind of explanations that are um, seem polite and helpful, but are going to be no help at all. So on the back, he continues with uh, the answers to six questions in total. He numbers them. So he explains that um, uh, when a member of a royal family is going to of the royal family is going to be um, at a hostess's function, then she indicates the fact on the card by saying decorations and goes on to explain. He's explaining in a way, uh, as I say, which is no help at all to the poor translator. He ends at uh, at the foot of the page, he says, I cannot help thinking that in a book so localized and slangy, there must have been other unfamiliar expressions. Please refer them to me, or if it is more convenient, to my friend Mrs. Rod, now in Paris at 20 Rue Bonaparte. Mrs. Rod, of course, is Nancy Mitford. And he continues on the inside of the letter, saying, who was very much a girl of that period, and would, I know, be delighted to help you. And in fact, we have the letter from Nancy Mitford uh, complaining about being visited by the French translator. And of course, she couldn't uh, help him at all. And uh, he, when she tried to explain what tutu sick making meant, uh, he was uh, utterly puzzled. Following that, and written across the center of the letter, uh, War does give a very interesting brief biography um, of his life, thinking the, the uh, important things uh, that he sees and says, among other things, he says, my best novel was called A Handful of Dust. So that's his judgment at this date of what his best book so far is. And um, he then ends saying, um, when recovering from a leg broken in parachuting in England, no glory. I wrote a novel, Brideshead Revisited, which is shortly appearing in translation in Paris. Uh, this book is more serious than its predecessors, has annoyed most of the English critics and delighted illiterate Americans in a disconcerting way, but I like it. So it's absolutely classic, deadpan, mischievous humour from Evelyn Waugh, and he has sent... Um, on request, a portrait um, to be included with the French translation. Um, but the portrait is some years earlier. He says uh, he's aged 26 in the portrait, and he's, as he is added at the bottom, now aged 43 and much altered for the worse. E.W. So classic war sense of humour and a wonderful letter. For more details of this letter and other Evelyn War items, please see the Peter Harrington website.